Hey everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond. You may notice that our lab is a whole heck of a lot larger. So what happened is I was recording this episode actually, and I just, I, I gave up. I ran out of room. Uh, this basalt line is going to take up a lot of space because I'm not very good at efficiencies. So uh, we made a bigger room. Over here, I started setting this up, and then I was like, wait a minute, I got a video to record. Um, basically, I took the same setup we had here and just moved it down a bit. And so I think the assault line, assault, basalt line is going to be right here. And then the snow line will be over here, and we will make it separate. We're not going to share the laser. We'll make two separate lasers, because uh, we can. We have enough. We have more lasers uh, made, so we're all set there. Uh, we also tried a bunch of different things here that were not working, so we're going to get this actually working right now. We're going to do this step by step. We're first going to get the magno line working, uh, get that set up and running like it should. Then we'll work on getting the basalt. Uh, we have a basalt generator on the roof that we're going to have to move over a bit, but we'll get that down and working, and we'll get uh, the laser working, and then we'll get everything transferred to where it needs to for processing. Hopefully we have that all done today. I have all the parts and pieces I need, I think, but uh, it is going to take some time. So what I do need that apparently is missing from my inventory, and I thought I had it in here, is I need... Where? Wait a minute, where the heck did they all go? Andesite casings. I know I had more than that, but uh, whatever. Because I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there. And I'm actually going to come over here, and underneath this one, I'm going to dig. I'm going to dig. And this is what we're going to do. We are going to use these redstone links, and we're just going to put a red link there and a link there. And we're going to say this is the magnetis. Yeah, right. I didn't want to have to, but I can't see like that. And I know we can't see it, but that is now linked properly. And now we can close that up. And now it looks pretty, pretty, pretty full. And we're going to throw a comparator down right there. And we need one of these powered rails. And right now we're assuming that direction. And we're going to say consider only locked. Activate during inactivity, empty entirely, and output to compare rater. And that should whoop, handle that. So if I come over here, I push this guy. It'll take a sweet time coming around here, but he should. And then if I go like this, it waits, it activates, that's empty, that has my stuff. Oh, that's where the rest of my endocyte casing went. Haha, <laughs> it was in the mine cart, uh, or the, the hopper cart. And that works great, awesome. Okay, we have that done, perfect. Let's stop that because we don't need it moving. All right, next up is we need it to load basalt. And I'm thinking, since I have a nice line here, and uh, to not interfere with this, I'm going to put the basalt loader like right here or right here. Uh, boom, boom. Yeah, I actually should be able to put it like right there. And then I can go like that. And it's going to be the same thing. Doot, doot. Uh, we're going to have a comparator here. We're going to have another redstone link there. We're going to dig under there and there and put one right there. And I need to go get another loader. That guy's been hanging around my building for a bit now. Uh, loader. It's kind of creeping me out. There. Okay, now I need to get basalt into this loader. So I believe 
that should be fine. We're going to have to go up top and we have to move our basalt generator. And uh, I'm just going to say this is like the fifth time I've moved this. So I'm getting to be a bit of an expert at moving this thing around. Uh, it sucks that I have to do it so many times. Oh, I've already broken everything up. Great. There. Alrighty, so that's going to go down. I need shoots and I need the blue ice and the lava. So there's the blue ice. I need. Uh, la 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 la. Where did I put the shoots? Where did I put the shoots? Am I looking right at them? Am I just not seeing them? Where did I put the lava? That's the next thing. Okay, there's the shoots. I do not see lava though. Is it in my ah? There it is. All right, so we're using shoots because it's quick and easy. Oh, I need a I need a uh, a uh, funnel too. Do, 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 do. I have a brass funnel, but I'd really prefer an andesite funnel because I'm not going to be making a ton of this. So. Do I need to go make me some andesite funnels? I might. Nope. All right. Back to work, everybody. I mentioned how much I miss Ender IO. <laughs> Only every episode, Walker. Yes, I know. I know. I do. It's got to be one of the best uh, portal slash wire mod that's ever. Uh, in the history of anything ever. All right, so that's going to go there. We're going to put the soul soil there. We're going to put our lovely igneous extruder there. We're going to put an andesite funnel there. And for the sake of our sanity, we're going to flip it. Then we need to go that there, that there, up, 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 just like that. We're going to grab that bucket of lava and throw it there, that bucket of blue ice, throw it there, and there we go, basalt. So when we're ready, we'll just flip the arrow and it'll just pour basalt That Now what we do need to do, though, um, we will need to set up a relay to turn this off with a uh, inventory checker here so that it's not continuously throwing down material at us. So we want a stockpile switch there. And uh, all right, so it will emit a signal when it's hit 75%. Um, we can probably actually move that up to like 85. And this one will definitely want to bring that down, uh, way down. Like if it's empty, it, well, no, we don't want it to ever be fully empty, but it should uh, go empty event. We'll just hit 10%, that should be fine. Uh, from there, we can go like that. And we need a signal that's not basalt, because I think this is going to be our basalt signal here. Like this. And then I can just kind of do this. Can I make anything out of basalt? I can make polished basalt. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll just do so like that. And we'll go like that. That will ensure that this thing turns off if it ever reaches like more than it can hold. 
then we throw another one right here polished and we give that a signal and then this I always get this wrong but I th think that should be fine nope okay and if it receives a signal then that's when it turns itself off okay that should work that'll ensure that we don't have basalt all over the roof and we can just fill that up and look at that it's already filling up a little bit okay so that takes care of that so it'll come down here it will load the magnet then it'll load the basalt and now it has to go to be lasered laser tasered so the next step is to get that lasered and I'm looking at this and I'm wondering why I bothered to have to move everything because we've actually got this pretty well set up. Um, now then, the laser setup, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to make a bit of this, but we're also going to need a few other items here. Uh, we need this detector rail. We need another powered rail. We can throw that up there. Those, I'm going to have to empty out this inventory sooner or later. That. Uh, that can go up in there with the rest of it. Okay, I think that's everything. I don't need that just quite yet. What I do need... I do need... Where are, Where is all of it? That, and that, and that, and that. Okay. Do I need a clutch? I do need some redstone. And I need the repeater. This is where things get a little funky and why I needed to expand space. So what's going to happen is this is going to come around this track and ideally it's going to hit this detector rail that I'm going to put down. And ideally we set this up somewhere where I don't have to do too much finagling with the laser. So what I would like to do is probably put the detector rail there and put the... Well that... Yeah, I think that would be okay. Powered rail there, detector rail there. We're going to flip that, invert it so it's powered. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, redstone, just like that. And we're going to put a link in the description. Now, we're just going to put a redstone link like that. And that should... It's not. That should have been fine. Maybe I need to do, hold up. Yeah, because the thing only gets a signal from like one direction. So what I actually need to do is uh... you ate my redstone. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Nope. All right. I do need more redstone, but why do I only have four redstone dust? When I did this earlier, I needed five redstone dust. So I must have some redstone hiding somewhere. Ah, come off in it. Where did I put that? Maybe I ran back here and put it in here. Arr, all right, well, we'll f just go get some more. What I don't like about the links is that when it's sitting on a surface, it'll only enter in one direction, when I really could be useful if it would enter in from all four directions. At least that's the way it seems. It seems like it'll only enter in through the bottom. Maybe it will enter in through the sides and I'm just not working it properly. I guess we could test that real quick. Oh, see, it, it reorientated itself. It seems like it always orientates one direction. Yeah. But for the sake of argument, 
cap. It only enters in from one direction. It does not emit from another direction. So what we'll have to do instead is go up, over, and then like that. And this one, I don't know if I have any samples left over. I do. We're going to use the basalt shard here as this one's signal, like so. And so what we need to do is we need to punch the laser here. So we're going to put down the invar, we're going to put down the lamp, and we are going to put down that guy, and we're going to put down the opposing redstone link that is not in my inventory. Uh, okay, another mystery. Where did my other... My other link disappeared, apparently. I had an even number of them. grab you because I'm sure I'm going to need you again sooner or later but yeah I don't see my other link all right that's fine we'll just make some more so I need a link so I need two brass sheets a redstone torch and some planks well there's the redstone torch we'll go get the planks I'm pretty sure I have some brass left over and basically what's going to happen is, is it's going to hit the detector rail oh that's why I only have okay yep I, I'm a dummy. I need to uh, replace one of those redstone. I'm a dummy. Uh, it's going to hit a repeater. There we go. Which is then going to delay the pulse for a second, and then it'll pulse to the track. And that, I have figured out, I've timed it, is more than long enough for the laser to fire off. Uh, in fact, it's almost perfect timing to get it to work. Almost too perfect. It's almost like that's exactly what the dev de wanted us to do. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think if there's anything over here that I need. This is running back and forth. Is kind of see. I hate that I'm like right up against the cliffside now. But, oh well, we're not landscaping anymore. Maybe we'll do a little bit of landscaping before we completely finish this, but. Okay, anyway, so we'll put that there. And we'll give that a signal. We'll get rid of that and throw you down. And set you to your max. And somehow I have two redstone repeaters. I thought I only had one. Did I do something funky? Did I duplicate something? I could have swore I only had one redstone repeater. Well, if I did, oh well, I guess. So yeah, anyway. So that's going to send, when that comes across, it's going to send a, a pulse. Which, um... Now I'm confused. Why is why did that work? I feel like that's not going to work anymore. Well, there's one way of finding out, and that's testing it, right? So I need to get you powered up, which I can just do with a where's all my gearboxes? There's they are. Okay, it's like. Now, I knew I made a bunch of gearboxes for this episode, because... Okay. Does that have to be off? I feel like that must need to be off. But for some reason, I remember turning it on. But we're going to find out. All right. Push you forward. Yeah. Which 
try and get that back on the if I do this there okay fire you come on go on goes through moves on there we go see how that worked uh, we'll, we'll watch it go through one more cycle uh, we'll watch it in another cycle because it's, it's really cool that the timing is like just perfect on it I feel like the timing is still a little off though but it, it hits every time so um It's it it's almost too perfect how that works. There we go. All right. So you have basalt, but we really need that to go and turn into basalt shards. So here's the next problem. Now that we have basalt shards, we need to unload it and send it through to crushing wheels. Now, everything I've tried with the crushing wheels tells me that they actually have to be upright, which sucks because I love running these guys along a uh, track uh, belt and letting it do it that way. Uh, but that means that, where is it? There it is. Okay. And we have a ton more because I've been trying to get this to work for a while. All right. And we'll just throw like that in there and then we can throw that in there like so and but here's the other problem is is wherever we do this unloader we also need to unload the magnet and the magnet has to find its way back here to be charged now I don't need to charge it every single time, I think, but we're going to see what happens because I've never done this with a full cart, so we're going to see what happens when we run it through and it's a full cart. Okay. Yeah, it used about a third of its charge. So... Eh, 50... Yeah, almost, almost close to half of its charge to do that. So... Uh, yeah, we, we will want to probably uh, charge that every, psych every circuit. Uh, but that means we have to find a way of getting it back into here. Luckily, uh, because we have to upright the crushing wheels and probably upright them over a belt, that means that wherever we send this off uh, to get rid of these shards... Oh. Oh, it only did... Well, isn't that interesting? Why did it only do two sets? I thought it was a fuzzy logic. That might explain why I've been having issues with the basalt. Okay. I gotta think this one through a little bit now. How do I... Hmm. So it really only fired off... Uh, recipe. Any amount of basalt through the alchemical laser, so it says. Let's try running it one more circuit and seeing what happens. Yeah, didn't do anything. Very interesting. See, I thought it would go. That's going to make life a little more difficult. Because now we have basalt that we have to deal with that wasn't 
wasn't in the equation, was not what part of the problem. All right, so here's what we can do, I guess, is over here, we can set that to only hold two uh, slot. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it still doesn't matter because it picked up the basalt and it's what... All right, I got to I got to test it. I got to test it, which means I need more basalt. So we're going to have to get rid of that. I need two and some change for basalt. So let's go and grab some out of here. And maybe I have some downstairs, but it might be faster just to work on getting the unloader done while this is filling up. And actually, now that we uh, now that we've done this, we can actually do this, right? Because the loader is set up to uh, stop once it reaches a certain amount. And of course, I did forget that I need shoots going all the way down. So once that hits 85%, it will stop, or it should stop. We're going to find out if it stops. But uh, all right, so while we're working on that, what we need is a belt to run the magnet back over here. So we're going to need a belt here. Right? from wherever we unload. And I think we can like move this. Uh, and what I think we need to do is move it up and have the unloader can be underneath the track, but I think the track's gonna have to go up and back down and then back around. So uh, what we can do is here and here, and then will that work? No, I think it has to be one more step, doesn't it? Yep, it does. And this is why I needed more space. Okay, and this is going to go up. And I need more track. Do I have more track? Uh, not a lot more track. I'm Gonna have to go and salvage some from the nether, I think. I think that's high enough. Maybe. Okay, let's just assume that it is, and we're gonna come across. And we're gonna go grab the unloader. I don't think this is high enough. I think I need it one more step up. Now I can either do the unloader above it, below it. I don't think beside it works. I think it has to be above or below. I think beside it would be a little too OP. Yeah, I need that either one up or one down. Which... Kind of sucks because I'm going to have to bring it down the same amount, which means my track is going to come way out over here. Uh, but maybe I can make use of that. Maybe, maybe we can kind of sort of fudge that around. So we know that's kind of useless to us. Well, it was, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. Um, we're fairly confident you need to go up one. So we need to bring you up one. And now we're at the limit. So that's as far up as we're going. And we go like that and we go like that. And then we can start coming down. Oopsies, that's not what I wanted to do. Where did that one go? 
Where did that one go? Did it go inside the loader? No, I don't know where it went. I hate it when it does that. Okay, and actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that off because I need to bring the minecart around here. Um, this is kind of dumb. I kind of don't like this at all. Uh, I think there's way better way that we can do this. Um, way better way that we can do this. But, I don't know. This, this feels wrong. This feels wrong enough that I'm not, no, we're not doing it this way. I don't like this. This is... That's just, that's too much. Um, 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 okay, we go and we run it over top. And here is how we handle getting this back to there. First of all, let's get rid of that. Uh, we will run it over top. So we do need another powered. That's the other problem is I have to be able to run the redstone signal, so um, if I put that there, I can go to like that. I can put another comparator there. I can put the unloader there. Now how do I get from the unloader to there? Um, Okay. Okay. What if instead of going that direction, I go this direction with this. Oops. I put a comparator there. And here I go shaft. Shaft. And actually... That could go there. Okay, and that's going to run a belt up there. I think this might work. Uh, you know what? You know what? I should move this down one so I don't have to worry about any funky weirdness going on. All right, <clears throat> move this down. So we put that powered rail there instead. Put that on top. Now we can go shaft and then shaft and then another shaft there and that will take care of that now then we also need to deal with the crushing wheels so what we can do oh 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 what we can do i need more shafts i can't believe i've used all of those didn't I have, like, a whole, like, chest full of them? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I have more. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in here. That, hey! Oh! Guess I should look in my other chests a little more often, eh? But the idea that I had involves... Not you guys, but... I need another brass tunnel. I thought I had two brass tunnels just sitting and waiting to be used. But I don't see another one. So I'm going to have to uh, improvise and either make another one or I could have swore I had another one. I wonder where it disappeared off to. In there? No. All right, so here's the idea. First of all, that is going to just go that away. 
and that's done. I think I might put one more locking rail, like right here, to uh, lock in place if I ever have too many fragments. That way it's not doing that. All right, let's take a look here. So that's fired out a signal there, and we're not getting any more basalt. Look at that, that works. So now when this runs down to 20%, it'll turn back on and it will supply more. That works. Uh, you, my good friend, are going to f just empty everything that you have. And that's going to run up here. And what I want is... What I want is a brass... Oh, I think I can just do this with one. So that'll come out. And for the sake of argument, we'll say it'll come down to here. So we're going to end over here somewhere, which is fine, because now I have all this space to do the rest of what I need to do. Um, and I can transport this whatever down this way. In a cr oh, I am liking this so far. Okay. And now I need to dump you into... A pair of crushing wheels uh, that are not quite there. Actually, I can just make this a two step. Do, 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 there you go. Okay. Crushing wheel there. Crushing wheel there. And that is going to feed into a basin and a press. You take you. And I th think I'm okay with just the two like that. And then the basin can go here, except that it should have an in. And the press goes there, and then we'll just run a belt and run it down to, like, here. Because what has to happen after that? It has to... That gets compressed into earth charge. That has to mix with our sand. And then that has to mix with that. So what we're going to have to do is either run the sand down here or run this over here uh, somehow. And we haven't quite decided yet how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. But that should work like that. And then just like always, we're going to put a chest there just to act as a buffer for right now. Uh, until we're sure that it works properly. And I'm liking this so far. It's a little not compact, but all right. Okay, so, oh, and then we need to come up here. If I can even get up here. All right, so we'll just do this. And we put a tunnel there, right? And so in theory, I should be able to grab the magnet, wherever the magnet is, that. And I should be able to say magnet goes 
there. And I'll just throw the magnet in there for right now. And the shard I should be able to say comes out of that side. And now what should happen once everything is hooked up, okay, this should work. Like, it really should work. Let's eat these berries that somehow wound up in my inventory. Okay, so now I just gotta power everything and I need to get the cart back on its rail. So first of all, first of all, this is a danger zone. Like we should not, we we should probably put a fence around this because if that laser fires off while we're over in the area, it's going to hurt. Uh, so we probably should put like a fence. I know I, I believe this is far enough away. Um, maybe we'll just put it like a metal cage around it. I don't know, we'll figure something out, but we just need to make sure that we give that laser a wide berth while we're doing this. Okay. Um, let's start by, that's actually not a bad idea, but I think it's not going to run the right way unless I do something funky. Okay, first of all, that's going to hook up to make sure those belts go the right direction. Um, I know I have more of those chain drives somewhere. Yeah, right there. Let's grab the rest of those. Do I need a clutch? No, if anything, I need a gear shift. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go like uh, this, but we're going to invert it like that. And then we're going to go, I guess, like that. And hook that up. Okay, that should spin the crushing wheel. I don't know if it's going to... Oh, that doesn't spin anything. What was I thinking? Oh, that's going to spin the belt. I don't know if that's going to spin the belt in the right direction, but it is going to spin the belt. So we'll try that. Um, let's hook up the crushing wheels like dead last because those are dangerous. And in fact, let's get this wheel system set up. So we can do this. And um, somewhere under here, I had run a belt. Actually, it's no kidding. Did I manage to get that like dead square on? No kidding. Of course, I don't have a belt in my inventory, but that's easily fixed. Um, I'm actually genuinely surprised that I managed to put that exactly where it needed to go. I was not expecting that at all. We're just going to make as many as we can, which is going to be that many. Because we're at a point now where we can just make whatever we want. And it's going to be fine. Come back and try and get this thing working. All right, so we're going to run the belt from there to there. And it didn't want to work because is it too far? How is it too far? All right, something's wrong here. There we go. I'm stuck. <sighs> That's better. 
Okay, now then, I need to get you up and into there. Let's see if this is actually going to work. Well, that is the wrong direction, isn't it? Uh, huh. Man, I wish that would work. I know why they don't do it that way, though. But, because I'm only doing one, there we go. That takes care of that problem. Little bit of a trick there. Bit of a waste of a chain drive, but at the same time, it makes it so I don't have to do some funky, weird crap to get that working. Now then, I should be able to... Go on the other side, maybe. Yep. Okay, that takes care of that. That is moving the wrong direction, so we will uh, replace that with a vertical gearbox. And okay, how did I do that over here again? I put that okay, that was facing up though, so I I have a little bit of a more of a issue here. All right. Uh, take that off. Well, that's running the wrong direction. I need you to run in the opposite direction. So, I think I need some gear shifts to get this working properly. Because I don't think I can get it working without some gear shifts here. Man, I wish it was an easier way of transferring power like that. Let me see here, because I need to be down here, so unfortunately I can't run it across like that. I also need to power that too, so whatever I do, I need to also run power up to that. Um, what if I did... Okay, that takes care of that. And then I run this across. And I run just a regular gearbox. And unfortunately, that is running in the wrong direction. So what if instead I did... Oh. No, but I think that I can do it this way instead. Okay. Okay, that's still running in the wrong direction, but what I can do for now is just throw a gearbox down and it runs in the correct direction. And then I don't have to fuss around with that at all. Uh, to get this thing running in the right direction, that's already running in the right direction, I just put down this here. Remove that. And put it back. And now that's working properly. And then for you... 
I could run a belt up, but I kind of like having this travel path here. So what I think instead, I'm going to remove that for now. And do that. Now that's working properly. So the last thing we have to deal with is you guys. You're running the right direction. And you're running in the right direction. Everything's working. It's a bit convoluted, but it's working. Okay. Moment of truth is we need to now get you over there and um, hopefully everything functions properly. Let's take one more look. All right, those are spinning the right direction. That's going to come up. It's going to empty stuff off. The shard should come and crush and then go into here to be compacted. The magnet. Oh, the magnet needs to be charged. All right, so we need to do that. Uh, la 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 la, put you in there. Oh, we can actually run those through. Where did my invar? Didn't I just like have a whole stack of those things? Did I drop them off somewhere again? I sure did. All right, we can, okay, let's just pretend Blah, 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 blah. Those go up. They bounce too far. They bounce too far. Did you see that? They just went, wee. We can fix that. <laughs> what a joke. Oh, man. Okay. So they should all be in here. Is that it? Is that all of them? I don't remember. What a joke. All right. We'll just put a wall up. I guess what I should have is like a chute or something to uh, fix that. But that should do just fine. Uh, so let's try that again. At least it went out the right direction. There they go. Okay, they're getting crushed. They're getting ground. Patunk. Patunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave the wall there. I'm going to put a painting or something up there. That's what I should do. But there we go. Look at that. Perfect. And it's crushing up more. And it should start tinging away again. Yeah, alrighty. So now the only thing we have left is to make sure that this part works. And I'm a little nervous because I seem to remember the last time I tried doing this, like this got all gunked up. So first thing is first, I need to get the... You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm just going to move the minecart. There's no point in me, like, trying to do it. I'm just going to move it. Okay. We also need to be careful about over here, because if we get caught in that, we're also dead. <laughs> There's no coming back from that. Um... Okay. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, and we didn't send a red. Okay, great. That acts as a good stop for us. Um, we need to fix this now. Uh, hmm. How do I want to fix this? Because I kind of goofed 
I need that one higher than that. Do I just want to run that one higher, go up, and then, well, I can't really, can I? I goofed. The, I, the plan was to put a chute under it and just suck it on down, but I goofed. Okay, how can we do this? So, uh, unfortunately, that runs all the way. I can go up, but then I have to go over. I can't put a tunnel on right there. I think the easiest way is to run it up one and over and just have an extra belt off to the side uh, and then we can put like a chute under it. So what I want to do see every freaking time every time I mean ah, that time I even did it exactly the way I don't know I don't get it I don't get it at all every time I try and do that it always busts on me Okay, um, no, stop it, I'm frustrated enough, you don't need to frustrate me even more. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to do belt from there uh, to there to there. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to try it and see what happens. I need another shoot, though. Which I don't think I have. I wonder if a hopper would work there. I don't think it's going to, though. I had belts in here. Alright, I need a shoot. Or a hopper one or the other I I think a hopper would work just fine uh, but I want to try and just use the shoot because the shoot is faster than the hopper the hopper actually has to take time there we go I knew I had a bunch I'll grab those two while I'm at it uh, everything is working except for I forgot to set up a link for the other part my bad. Okay. Let's just see what happens. I need to go ahead and be super careful when I'm up there. We should probably um, break those while we're working up here. <laughs> So that needs to go there, and then... Ah! Scary. I don't have any more, do I? Nope. That sucks. That's okay. What we'll do is... Um, we'll run it one cycle without the link. We'll grab some of the shards, and then we'll run another cycle... Or wait a minute. Yes. Nope. That's that's powder. Can't do that. Okay. So uh, what I want to try. Okay. Magnet first. Let's worry about that first. That goes up. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did you go? Where are you? Where the hell did it go? I am confused. Where the heck did it go? 
He disappeared. Yo, this ain't funny. That thing was expensive. Ah. So we have a new problem. We definitely need a filter on here uh, for the NFT. Uh, yeah, NFT data. NF no. The fuzzy logic is not working properly in this. We definitely need a filter on there uh, so that it doesn't just suck through. It needs to charge first. So that's another thing. All right, we are at the end of the episode. Um, I will put this back together. Everything's running the right direction. Good. We know that works. Uh, we know all of this works. We just need to set up a uh, signal here to feed to be able to... Make sure that that's all set. And once again, I have one link. And that is frustrating. One link there. So I know I have another link somewhere around here. I'm actually just going to call this Earth Charge because that's what it's going to end up being eventually anyway. And let's go get a link so, so that we can see this in action fully, and then we'll call it there. We'll worry about the magnet charging uh, in a bit. What I think I might have to do... do wait, don't I have a filter just lying around doing absolutely nothing? Maybe I don't. I thought I did. That or I used it for something else. I need a piece of wood. Out of mild curiosity, what does it take to make a filter now? Oh shoot, I could do that right now. Do I have any? Oh, oh shoot. I actually have too much iron now. <laughs> I need to put an emerald filter on that. Uh, I need two of those, please. Well, crap, now I'm not, uh, uh, hold on. Okay, filter. Uh, come back over here, grab you. I'm excited. I want this done and over with, but I'm also excited because I think it's going to work exactly as advertised. Link in the next episode, we can probably get the snow thing done, like probably wicked quick and easy. Come back, come back, come back. The sun's coming up. Okay, first up, uh, we are going to uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to filter that for now so that we can run that in there. And uh, for the sake of speed, we're just going to do this. I'll run it through the floor later. You're going to charge up. Oh, you got plenty of juice. What's going on, buddy? Why are you not charging? 
What's what's going on? What's the issue? I don't get it. Why is it not charging? Please don't tell me there is a distance uh, minimum on this stupid thing, because that would just upset me to no end. <sighs> it's just not charging off of that. Did I break this cable somewhere, maybe? No, that's all there, so I don't know why it wouldn't charge that, of all things. The only thing I can think of is, ah! That's why. That has got to be the dumbest thing. This, again, it's thermal series. Uh, it's stupid because I have that side set to output. And yet it's not outputting. So um, it is Thermal Series' fault, and I fully believe that 100%. Now that should charge. Yep, there it goes. We gotta go. We 50k. All right, so we're gonna set up a filter. We're gonna say respect the data. Respect my data. Uh, we're gonna make sure it's on the allow. We're gonna say good. We're going to throw that up in there instead. And now we're going to throw that in there. And now that's fully charged and ready to go. And now we can put a link with. All right. Picks up the magnet, picks up some basalt, fires off, empties the magnet and the shards, picks up the magnet. Nope. 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 It didn't have enough time. Didn't have enough time or it didn't pick up the magnet. I don't know which, but it didn't do something. So, here's what I got to do. I have to slow down the minecart from here to there. Well, the good news is that basalt just died. Also, um, totally didn't. Totally did not, uh, yeah, we're going to fix this next episode. So what I need to do is, th I think the minecart is getting here before the magnet is. So what I think we need to do is slow it down um, to give the magnet time to charge and get back over here. And there's a way of doing that, but we'll find that out next episode. Guys, I know that took long like usual. Uh, we were just getting that last little bit like it takes me so long to figure something some of the stuff out but i really kind of like this setup i could make this tighter i could move this in um everything all of this could be a lot tighter but uh you know i made all this extra space for a reason we might as well use it i'm going to put this cable under the floor i'm going to try and fix this up a little bit i'm going to test it before i say yes to it but uh there is a uh track a rail from create that will help slow the minecart down along this passageway and um Really, this just goes back to what I really wish would happen is that this would just lock in place until the loader has something to load, not just for inactivity, which I think I could do using a um, AND gate. I could say loader inactivity and uh, object inside the loader, uh, but that would require me to 
uh, move some space stuff around so that I could put an AND gate in here. Um, and I'm not going to do that. We'll just slow this down. This thing is going to move uh, all the way around. And we are going to, however, put a lock somewhere in here so that when this thing is full, it locks it in place and it doesn't let it go until this thing is empty. And we're going to make use of our stockpile switches to do that. Uh, look at this. This is great. And now it's filling back up again. So yeah, if this is empty and it has nothing to fill, because this does fill slowly and this does fire, this does clean this up fast. So what we need to do is... Um, We're going to have to make an if statement, so we might have to do a little bit of programming. If this is full, uh, if this is empty, as in it needs to fill back up again, if that is full and that is empty, uh, and oof, this needs a magnet, pause, right? And maybe pause right there. So we'll we'll work on that. Uh, luckily, <sighs> red has an AND gate built in. I just haven't used it. So I'm not 100% sure how it actually will work. But we can figure that out. Guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, like down below is great. I really appreciate it as well as comments. Um, everything else is as it is. Uh, this is Walker saying stay safe and check you uh, later.